High school cheer team in Manhattan qualifying for nationals in Florida, and tonight they are looking for help just to get there. Eyewitness News reporter Stefan Kim talked with the team and one cheerleader in particular who explains why this team means so much. It was really hard because my sister, she was like a mother figure to me, even though I have a mom who cares about me. Mm -hmm. She was more like a mother figure and I could go to her about anything and she was kind of my person. When high school freshman Ariana Elois lost her older sister in October, she felt like she lost the only person who understood her. Struck and killed by a truck near Prospect Park, her sister left behind two sons, a one-year-old and a six-month-old. But a surprising safe haven for coping with her loss has been the sport of cheerleading and an unexpected family she could turn to in her grief, the Seward Park cheer team. I thought when I first got here, I wouldn't get so close to anybody really fast, but it was actually the opposite. Now together, Lewis and this team were on a mission. Last year, they made history as the first campus team in Manhattan to qualify for a national cheer competition in Orlando, Florida. And this year, they've earned another chance, ready to prove they're not a one-hit wonder. But the biggest hurdle on their way is the price tag. Cheer is not recognized in the city as a sport and receives little to no sports funding. The young women on this squad recognize the systemic inequity. Why cheerleaders don't get funding in New York State, it's mainly because of misogyny. One, two, and for any doubters, just look at the strength, discipline, perseverance, skill and trust they put into this. They train three and a half hours, four days a week at the Seward Park campus in the Lower East Side. It needs to be a mental preparation. So that's working on our communication within the team. That's working on our developing our leadership, honestly dealing with stress. I think stress management is a huge thing for any athlete. In order to make it to nationals, though, they'll need to raise $30,000 in less than a month. A small price, if you think about it, to support a team that does more than cheer. There has been times like I haven't felt very motivated to sit there and go through a whole practice mm -hmm. and Gianna will talk to me and like be like use it as an outlet to get my feelings out kind mm -hmm. of like all the stress or sadness or anger I have to just leave it all on the mat. In the lower